Okay guys, so today I'm going to show you how to disassemble the SSR63. Here we have the A2. Um, we're going to disassemble it down to the gearbox completely in case you need to um, replace something, we want to change some parts. The A2 is basically exactly the same as the A1, only the handguard is different, but it's completely the same procedure. So first remove this pin in the front here. It goes from the left to the right, so we push it out to the left side, remove it completely and just slide off the rail, the handguard. Then we can take off the magwell. Here we also have a pin, push it out, same way. This one is a little bit harder, so you can use this pin maybe to push it. bit out and then you can remove it. Then to remove this part, pull this notch here and just pull it up like this. Remove this as well. Then we are going to remove the outer barrel, including inner barrel and hop-up chamber. So we take a Phillips key and remove those two screws. Just few turns. On the other side is a nut, so it's not connected anymore. And then we can push it out. Just take something small to push it through and just pull it out. The back one might be a little bit harder to push because it's under tension. Okay, then we need to remove two screws here under this hop-up uh, cover. Slide it back like this and you can pinch it under here that you can reach the screws easily. Um, be careful here to not scratch your rail if you remove those screws. Just like this. It's a bit tricky because you have to be in the right angle, but with the right size, it should be okay. Then you can release this and just pull out the whole outer barrel. And then we can continue with this one. To get to the inner barrel, just push the chamber in slightly and rotate clockwise and it pops out. Then we have the inner barrel in the chamber to replace the bucking, for example. On the uh, downside of the hop-up chamber, you have this C-clip. You can just pop it off like this and then remove the hop-up wheel. Just slide it off. And there's the notch, okay. And then oh, be careful not to lose this one. This is the tensioner that uh, applies pressure to the hop-up. And then you can just pull out the inner barrel. There's also some spacer to stabilize the inner barrel in the hop-up chamber. And yeah, the bucking is now, in my case, still stuck in the uh, chamber. The easiest way to get it out is just to pinch the inner barrel a little bit against the bucking and then just slide it out carefully. Not too much pressure to not rip the bucking like this. Okay, put all of this aside. Then if you want to get to the gearbox, um, we fold the back stock. There's the button, just press it and fold it. Then you have this screw here, which is for the quick spring exchange. We need to remove the spring. 
So we don't have the full gearbox under tension if we want to open it. So just untighten this screw. If you remove the screw, just take some big uh, flat screwdriver, push in a little bit and then rotate 90 degrees. And be careful, it's an attention that doesn't pop into your face. Just move it like this. In the back of the gearbox, which holds the gearbox in the body. So take a three millimeter Allen key <laughs> and untighten the screw. Okay, remove it completely. Then you can already see that this whole part is loose and we can just flip it out like this. Be careful to not uh, rip the cables and then just take it out like this. Put the body aside. So now we have the grip with the complete gearbox. And to continue here, we remove the screw on the bottom here of the grip. It holds the motor. And also here is a pin, which we need to push through. You can push it in either way. So it doesn't matter in which direction you push it. To get the pin out. Okay. Then to remove the gearbox, um, put it on semi position like this. And then just pull it out carefully. Watch out, here is a spring which holds this um, fake uh, bolt release. Be careful to not lose this. It's very likely jump off. So just remove it carefully, push the trigger to get it out easily. There we go. To disassemble and replace the fire selector. Um, as I said, be careful with this small spring. Just move this and this small fake button here. Just take it off. Then we have a small hex screw. It is a 1.5. Just untighten it a little bit. You don't have to remove it completely. And carefully lift off this part. And same on the other side. Be careful with the one on the left side. There is a spring here and 